Youth runner here with uh, Tim Few Star, Lily Alder. Obviously, you kind of live for the big moments, and, mm -hmm. uh, but and obviously, uh, I know that you're capable of competing with uh, you know, any athlete in the country. Not just you know uh, your amazing teammate Jane Hengren, but uh, but just how just how rewarding is an experience uh, like this? Because I don't think people uh, outside of your community in Utah just know. You know, what a special competitor you are. No, 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 you had a no, chance no. to show the entire like, country tonight. How much does it mean? Yeah, it means so much. I mean, this school, like this race was such a big thing in our season and we've been training up to it. So all those workouts and all those weeks kind of just led to this big moment. And it's just so amazing to come out here and perform to my best. You're an athlete uh, that you know uh, never gets intimidated by pace. You knew it was obviously gonna be, you know, uh, like a roller coaster ride oh, the, yeah. the, the, the entire time, but uh, but just how proud were you of just how composed you remained and just kind of like how you just trusted in you know in your training and just ran Lily Alders race and you know, didn't worry about what you know Riley or Kiara or Sadie or Jane or anybody else is doing. Yeah, it was so big. I mean, my coach has to often tell me to slow down and just be patient. And that race especially, there's so many people, so it's really hard to kind of gauge what you're doing. But I just knew not to look at my watch, just relax and stay, um, like, composed, and I would be okay in the end. Really, when, especially here, it's like when it gets to two miles, when it gets to a K left, when it gets to 800 left, and, like, you're still there. Like, just, mm -hmm. what it, I mean, it's hard, but it's supposed to be hard. But, like, what did that do for you energy-wise? Like, this is the fact that it's like, hey, I'm looking around, and, you know, there's, right. there's only a few of us, and I'm one yeah. of them. Like, what did that do for you? It was amazing. I knew that I had 800 kick because I do the 800 for track, so I just knew if I just held on for two and a half, I could make that last little 800 worth it. And so just being patient and, you know, gauging. I can see Sadie. I can see... Um, Jane, obviously, and just being in close proximity and getting where I need to be. Last thing, I mean, it's only September 21st. Obviously, your season wasn't even getting rolling at this point last year. No. So, uh, so just, you know, obviously still eyes on, you know, late October for state, November 23rd for Rio regionals, you know, Lord willing, health providing December 7th yes. for, for nationals. But just how, how do you hope to be able to kind of take this and, 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 and apply it to that next stretch before you get ready for stage? Yeah, I definitely think doing more workouts um, and just working with my coach. Honestly, I like to go one race at a time. So, you know, on to the next race and, you know, just every single race getting better and better and learning a lot. And eventually, hopefully, we'll get to that December race and I can perform my best. Awesome. Well, if it's anything like tonight, can't wait to see what that's going to be like, whether it's at Sugar House, whether oh, it's yeah. at, in Arizona, whether yeah. it's uh, at Glendivere, uh, Lily Oliver is going to be ready to go. Congratulations. Thank you.